when he went into the room, it was the crowd's attention. Well, that's Eugene Beggy Vogoy talking about his 13-year-old son, Maxim, and the joy that he brought to the people around him. Now, the Beggy Vogoy family is holding on to those memories as they grieve the loss of their son, Maxim, who was killed when a rugged terrain vehicle that he was in crashed on the Big Island. Our Paul Drews has our top story tonight. Well, Eugene tells me the father saw the pair, both Maxim and his 8-year-old brother, as he was driving down the driveway in a parked RTV. Then just a few minutes later, when he drove back up, he saw that there had been a terrible accident involving the two boys. The Beggy Vogoy family moved to this agricultural property on Hawaii Island in 2019, sprawling land for their growing family that included four young boys and three young girls. We live on, a, on acreage, so they are outside all day we don't have a tv or anything like that so we homeschool and uh, they are always together playing while they don't have a tv they do have farm equipment including all-terrain vehicles we had the, the Kubota, we have a polaris because to get around the property we, we got to have equipment and we're because we're, we're sloped here their oldest of seven children, 13-year-old Maxim, not only knew how to drive those ATVs, his dad says he was very mechanically minded. I have a little John Deere uh, uh, farm tractor, and that's that's his machine. He he runs it. I don't even know how to operate it, but he's he's the operator on that machine. Uh, I also have a, a mid-sized excavator, and since he was eight, he says, Dad, can you teach me how to run this thing? So I would teach him, and... By nine years old, he was on his own running an excavator on our farm. Eugene says Max was used to driving on their property. But Tuesday afternoon, he was in a Kubota RTV, similar to this one, with his younger brother in the driver's seat. It's an eight-year-old. I, I, I couldn't comprehend that he, you know, Max would put him behind the wheel. But <clears throat> older brother trying to show his younger brother how it's done. Because Max, by that age, was driving these things. That's when tragedy struck. My driveway goes up to the gate, but it also turns 180 down to my warehouse and my workshop. Well, on this turn, when you turn, it's the one face is rocks. The other, the other side is obviously downhill. So when he turned left, he didn't stop. He, he didn't straighten out the vehicle. He kept going left, so he hit the embankment. And that's where the vehicle you know, tipped up. And Max was crushed under the vehicle and died, devastating this close-knit Ukrainian family. It's a big loss. My second and third, uh, they just can't comprehend that he's not around anymore. Yeah, so it's hard. The family, which just celebrated the birth of a new baby less than two weeks ago, now has to deal with the death of their oldest child. He was my future. I had a lot of plans for him. We worked together. As the family grieves, instead of focusing on the loss, Eugene says he'll focus on the happy memories he shared with his son, Max. This was his dream. Dad, can you go out with us to do a hike? And I finally got a chance to go about two or three weeks ago. Uh, so we did a hike and we found this lava tube. So he was all excited about it. You take a picture. Dad, can take a picture. So we, that's where the picture came from. Support from their church and through friends, a GoFundMe has also been started to help with funeral expenses for Maxim. If you'd like to contribute, you can find a link at KITV.com. All right, thanks so much, Paul. Well, we also heard from Sergeant Thomas Koyonagi with Hawaii Island Police, who emphasizes teaching Keiki about safety when it comes to these vehicles. For Hawaii Island, since we are in majority of it as a rural community and we have all these types of recreational vehicles throughout the island, it's just to make sure, especially as being parents, that we are aware that if we have our children or relatives using these vehicles, that we equip them with the proper education and equipment. And just to be always here on the side of caution, uh, make sure they don't operate the vehicle beyond their capacity. Don't let them traverse any type of rough terrain or any type of incline that would probably jeopardize their safety. 
Well, the Consumer Product Safety Commission says hundreds of people die in ATV crashes every year and almost 300 deaths are children under 16. Thousands more get severely injured, which is why Hawaii Island Police have these recommendations.